Hey guys, my name is Brittany Howard. I am a second year negotiations and conflict major. Um, so today I decided to go with the video. I felt like this simulation could be really fun and it gives us a chance to kind of just get behind the screen and get really comfortable. Um, so unfortunately I am homesick right now. Um, I have a cold. I've already been COVID tested, so I don't know if it's COVID, but I will be playing all three characters in this simulation. Um, I live at home by myself. Sometimes my boyfriend is here, but he's at work. So unfortunately, I will be getting into character. Good thing for you guys. I've always wanted to act. <laughs> so um, stay tuned and Today I'm playing myself as the negotiator or the mediator of this simulation. Um, thank you, Brittany Howard. So let's jump right into it. This is going to be really fun. Grab your popcorn and it's time to go. Hello guys. Thank you for coming ladies today. Um, my name is Brittany. I will be your mediator today. I called you both here so that we can try to come to an agreement about your situation at hand. And um, I'm just going to ask you a few questions and kind of ask you ladies to let me know what's going on. And, you know, I will try to assist you as best I can so that we can come to a mutual agreement, um, an unbiased agreement. I do have a statement here for both of you ladies to sign just saying that everything that is stated here is confidential. Nothing should leave this room. It should be just between us three. Um, you ladies have the legal right to leave at any moment you feel free. If you no longer feel comfortable in this process, that is totally fine. You are free to leave. Um, but I would hope that you would stay and try to come to an agreement about the situation. I know that you guys are sisters and it's so, so important. Family is important. And um, yeah, let's let's go ahead and get started. I want to start by having you guys introduce yourself. I've already kind of introduced myself to you. I'm Brittany. I'm your mediator for today. And um, I want you ladies to start by just kind of introducing yourself and kind of telling us what your issue is for today and kind of what you hope to get out of this mediation today. So thank you ladies and um, let's go ahead and get started, okay? Hi, I'm Nicole Williams and I am the older twin. So um, thank you for having me. I really hope that we can come to an agreement today because I still love my sister. She's still the yin to my yang. But we have to grow up one day and I want to have a children. I want to have a family. Like, it shouldn't be this hard to, to separate. Like, I love her to death and I hope that today we can come to some type of agreement. Um, but if not, then I don't, I don't know what we're going to do, honestly. That's that. I wonder what she's going to say because always something with her. Okay, I'll, I'll come in and I'll talk, but I don't know how far this is going to get because she knows she's wrong. 100%. Um, thank you for having us, Miss Howard. And um, I hope that, I really do hope that we can come to an agreement today. But my name is Imani Williams. I am the little sister and the one who's really getting done wrong in this situation. You know, me and my sister were as thick as thieves until Robert came in and he wants to steal all of her time. Like, no, this is not fair. Um, I don't, I don't know what we're going to do. She knows she's wrong. I'm not being a snob or selfish. I just, you know, this is just so sudden. Like we should, we should plan. We should give this more time. You can't just leave me on my own suddenly with all the bills, all the responsibility. <sighs> She's just wrong. She's just wrong. Seriously. <sighs> let's let's just get this over with because it's been hard enough. Like. 
just knowing I'm losing my sister and like I don't know thank you ladies so much I appreciate your honesty so early in the game um, I do just want to set a few ground rules while we're here in this space um, I can see that there is a lot of emotion running through this situation um, I can only imagine what you ladies are going through today so just one of my main grand, ground rules is to really just stay respectful. Um, I do understand that, you know, you're going to be feeling hurt um, on both ends and you're both going to be feeling like the other, you know, may have done the other wrong. So I do want to stay respectful. Um, let's e address each other by first name only, no name calling, no disrespectful slurs um it does really change the room um atmosphere and also ladies my second and final ground rule is to just be honest and also try to be accepting um i want you ladies to go in and kind of really ask for what you want out of this situation but also be willing to give if you're not willing to give and kind of reciprocate those feelings then I don't know how far we're going to get in this situation, okay? So what I'm hearing so far is that, Nicole, you really want to have a family. You've met this great guy who's, you know, kind of changed your world. He has you thinking about marriage, even kids. That is so great. That's so positive for you. Um, but on the other hand, Imani, you kind of feel as though your sister has, you know, left you out by yourself left you to fend all the bills, um, fill everything by yourself, and kind of leaving you feel, feeling lonely in this situation and just unprepared to kind of do all these things by yourself that you're used to splitting. And um, I definitely understand where both of you ladies are coming from. Um, so now that we kind of understand what our situation is, um, I just want to know, like, what are your plans? What do each of you want to get out of this situation um, so that we can kind of understand where you're coming from and where you want to move forward in this okay so let's go ahead and let's get into that and um, Nicole since you went first I'll actually have Imani go first this time if that's okay and um, thank you ladies Imani Thank you, Miss Howard. Um, I appreciate that. Um, I think you you pretty much hit the nail on the head with um, how I'm kind of feeling in this whole situation. And um, for me, you know, I love my sister dearly, and it just hurts. It hurts um, to know that I, I feel like I'm losing her. I feel like I'm losing you, and um, it's just so sudden. You know, so for me, I would really appreciate it if, like, things with her and Robert just, like, just slow down a little bit. Like, let's make sure that he's the guy for you, you know. Let's wait until our lease is up. Like, you can't just move out and leave me with a lease that you know I can't afford right now. Like... When we went into this apartment, you knew that I couldn't pay for this by myself, but we both agreed that we would have each other's back and, you know, make sure no matter what that the rent was paid. So how am I supposed to do that if you go run off with Robert and you get a new place with Robert, you know, where does that leave me in this situation? It's not that, it's not that I don't want you to have a family. I want you to be happy, sis. Like, seriously. I want you to be happy. I want you to have kids. Like, of course I want nieces and nephews. But I really, like... I want you to really think about this. Because I care about you. Like, I think that... You know... Maybe us taking it a little bit slower. And, you know, waiting until our lease is up. And, like giving us a chance to purchase another car together because the car that we have we both pay for that car so if you think that you're going to just run off and leave me with the apartment and you take the car that we both pay for 
you're still wrong. You're you're more than wrong now. Like, I don't know how we're gonna work that out, but uh, yeah. So I'm not paying for the car. Um, I'm not paying for the house by myself. So yeah, that's kind of how I feel, and that's what I want to get out of this situation today. Is I want my sister to not be selfish and think about someone other than herself. Hmm. Selfish? <laughs> what? You're calling me selfish? Sis, Imani, you know how long I've been wanting Robert. You know how long I've been single or we've both been single. Like, I talk to you all the time about like how lonely I am and yes I still have you but you're my sister I want love I want compassion like we're freaking 25 I'm in a midlife crisis here you don't think that like I want to start my family we have to stop this madness seriously I just don't understand Miss Howard what she wants from me like yeah, I could wait a little bit. I could take some time. But then how does that help me? Like, what do I get out of this? You know, like, it's, it's just as much not fair to me as it is not fair to you. That's how I feel. And at the end of this, I would really want, you know, house aside, car aside, I really want for me and my sisters to still have a loving relationship after I try things out with Robert and no they may not work but I have to try like what am I doing if I don't try seriously I just don't understand I really want us to keep our relationship the same no matter what the outcome is like I understand maybe, you know, we put up for the car together. Yes, we did. So would it be fair for me to just take the car because Robert lives far and I need to get to work? No. Because you need to get to work too, don't you? Yes. And yes, I know that you can't afford the rent on your own. I technically wanted this bourgeois place because a queen deserves a castle sis <laughs> am I right but I don't know I just what am I going to get out of staying here another four months while I just let him blow in the breeze are you serious right now like I cannot believe that you just fucking sat there. Excuse my French. Grumbles. That you just sat there and used I at least 10 times. That just goes to show you how freaking selfish this girl is and how she only cares about her daggone self. That's just. That's just messed up, Nicole. That's messed up. You said I like a thousand times. I don't even think you heard anything I said. Ugh. Honestly, if you think I'm being outlandish, just go. I'll work it out. Trust me. I'll work it out some type of way since you want to be selfish all your life. Lord Jesus, I don't even know, like, what else to say to you because all you're worried about is you and Robert. Robert wasn't here three freaking months ago, so why are you so concerned about what Robert can do and how you and Robert are going to work out? What about me, Nicole? What about me? I deserve love, too. You know what? I 
I'm done. I'm done. Miss Howard, if we could please wrap this up because I'm not getting anywhere with her. Seriously. She's not my sister. Okay, ladies, I'm going to go ahead and interject here. Um, thank you for kind of just letting us know what you want to get out of it, out of this mediation. And um, I think that that was really helpful into moving forward and kind of seeing what our next steps will be, okay? Um, so what I got from you, Nicole, is that you really just want to be happy again. Um, you don't want to leave your sister out in the dry. Um, you are willing to bend and kind of form and help her out, but you want to live with Robert. You want to take this big step. Um, so with that being said, Imani, you on the other hand, you want your sister to give you some time. Um, you want your sister to kind of wait those extra four months until the lease is up. You want you guys to kind of work towards buying that second car so that you each can have a car and go your separate ways, which I think is all um, very plausible in this situation here. So moving forward, what I want to do for you ladies is I want to kind of just help you and guide you so that you guys can come up with your own decisions and kind of find the best way to solve this. Um, if we can't solve this, of course, we can always do more meetings, but I do kind of want you ladies to solve it here. Um, Imani, I heard you say that you're done and, you know, you want to just give it all away, give it all up. And I just want to reassure you that don't, don't give up just yet and just continue to work with your sister. Um, as you guys have both stated multiple times, you love each other, your family. She is your sister. She will always be your sister, no matter what. Okay? Um, so with that being said, let's go ahead and let's let's try to come up with some sort of agreement uh that will work for the both of us. Um as just a suggestion, um, Imani, would you be open to maybe Robert moving in with you guys for the next four months um, and kind of just helping out and kind of taking some of the load off until that lease is up and then they can go their own way and then maybe you can go your own way um, or maybe Nicole would you be open to possibly yes you know going to live with Robert and since he has his own place and he's kind of already paying for it his utilities and his bills alone uh would you mind just helping your sister out for the next four months and continuing out that lease because you guys did sign a legal agreement saying that you would pay the lease out um so i think both of those are kind of plausible ideas and as far as the car um that one can be kind of fluctuating kind of up in the air. I don't know if you guys will be open to sharing a car. I'm not sure if it works better for you to have your own car. But I think that with this, um, it may be best for you guys to have your own separate car. And um, someone has to meet the other in the middle here. So let's kind of go into that and let's try to come up with solutions now. We know what the problem is. We figured out you guys' issues. But what is our solution and how are we going to save the relationship moving forward, okay? So we're almost there. Don't give up on me. And um, thank you, ladies, for, for participating, okay? Thank you. Okay, Ms. Howard. Um, I think that we'll be able to come to an agreement today. And <sighs> Imani, I've heard everything that you've said. And um, it kind of hurts me because, you know, sometimes I am just thinking about, sometimes I am just thinking about myself, you know, and I'm, I haven't really thought about how this makes you feel. And I'm willing to go all the way through the rest of this lease with you and I don't want to leave you out here on your own. Um, 
you know, I've really heard you today and, you know, you're my sister. I love you. And I don't want you to ever think that you're not going to be my sister because you will, okay? And I never knew you felt so strongly about it, you know? So, with that being said, um, excuse me, so emotional, you know, like, you're, you're all I really have, you know? Me, you against the world, sis, so... I am willing to stay with you for another four months or, you know, if you were okay with Brian possibly coming over some nights and just staying with us um, sometimes, because uh, I did kind of jump into it. I'm a hopeless romantic, sis, you know, but, you know, I, I can't, I can't do that to you. I really can't. And I don't want you to think I'm selfish because I'm not. Like, my whole life has been split in half. <laughs> so I really love you. And, you know, whatever you're kind of cool with, I think it'll be okay um, to do that. And as far as the car, you know, like, we were already working on another car. So it would be okay if we just kind of continued our path. Even after I move out, um, you know, just continue our path and working on getting a separate car um, for one of us. So, if I mean, if you're okay with that, you know, I would really love to stay with you and be your twin sanity <laughs> for a couple more months. You know, I'm always here. If you want to talk, I'm always here. Um, if you want to just come stay the night or I'll come stay with you, you know, but there's no reason that we should be fighting like this, okay? So, you know, what do you think? Oh, sis. I really needed to hear that from you today. I just, I felt like I was losing you and just all too fast. Um, I am willing to allow you, like I'm kidding. I'm willing to say goodbye to you um, when our lease is up and, you know, let you kind of grow and Honestly, I'm happy for you, you know, you and Robert. I hope to one day find love as well and start a family of my own. Um, but four months is kind of enough time for me to figure out what I'm doing and where I'm going after here. Um, even if it is going back home for a while until, you know, I can get a little bit more stable. Um, or even finding a new roommate, one of our friends may, you know, want to move out and get a place. So I'm totally fine with that. I'm so glad that you, you finally can see where I've been coming from all this time and that I myself wasn't being selfish either. I just want, you know, our best interest. Like it's always been me and you. So, you know, it was just really hard to come to terms with us splitting up you know so I'm totally fine with that and you know after 25 long years I can't believe we're separating but I knew it was coming so I'm glad you finally understand as well so I can definitely like just find healing about the whole situation um i want to thank you also miss howard for opening our eyes and creating this space for us to kind of create a clean slate um it, it was it was so helpful but sis like you said let's just stay on the path that we're on let's give it four more months let's live it up um 
Brian can come over and stay, or Robert, whatever, whatever his name is, he can come over and stay, but not all the time. He cannot move in with us because I still need my sister time, and since he's stealing you away, he'll have you forever more. Okay, and even if things don't work out, I'm always your sister. I'm always here if you need me. And. cannot even express to you how powerful that was just to watch you guys get so emotional and just come to terms with everything together you know I, I might have guided you guys but you did this on your own you ladies came up with the solution um, I'm so proud of you and I just want to thank you both for being a part of this mediation and kind of just letting me guide you. Um, I do appreciate that so much. It was a bit of a tearjerker. <laughs> um, I was like, oh my God, what's going on here? But I'm thankful. I'm very thankful that Nicole and Imani, that you guys came to terms with this. And um, I'm always here if you guys need to talk. If you guys have any further issues, but it sounds like today that we have come to an agreement and that, Nicole, you are going to stay in the home um, for the next four months until the lease is up. And that, um, Imani, you are fine with Robert coming over sometimes. And also, you guys are going to work on that car together. You're going to get a car um, for the other one before you kind of just go your separate ways. I do want you to remember that you guys are always sisters. You guys will forever be sisters. You guys will never not be sisters. You are one in the same. And we have to love each other. Definitely in the place of chaos and COVID-19 and racial injustice, we have to stay together as much as possible in these times, okay? And I don't want you guys to lose sight of that. So thank you again, um, and I appreciate you both. Woo! That was great, wasn't it, guys? I loved it. Yes, I was actually getting emotional some parts in there. I'm like, why am I getting emotional? It's the actor in me. I don't know. <laughs> but I do appreciate you guys for watching. Um, this is for my Negotiations and Conflict Management 513 class. I am a graduate student at the University of Baltimore, and we had a couple options, and I really wanted to do a video. Um, if you've been following me on YouTube, you know that I'm very charismatic, and this was actually pretty fun to me. Um, you know, I kind of just went with the flow, and I wanted it to be very natural and not like super scripted but while also following um, the terms of mediation and asking them to ask for what they want and give what it is that they want and kind of reciprocate um, those energy. I, I set ground rules. I set ground rules for the ladies and um, just allowing them to have that open space, um, but also be extremely respectful of each other. So. Thank you guys for watching. Choo -choo -choo. This class is always great. And um, I hope to see you guys through Zoom next semester. Or maybe not. Because we got those vaccines coming. So <laughs> thank you guys. See you next.